We move on now to President-elect Donald Trump. A fierce war of words and Mr. Trump taking on this country's intelligence community when it comes to Russian hackers and whether they try to disrupt America's election. ABC's Tom Yamas in Washington. Tonight, Republican leaders in Congress breaking with President-elect Trump, announcing they will investigate whether Russia used hackers to try and influence the election, something Trump doesn't believe happened, even though the director of national intelligence said it did. They have no idea if it's Russia or China or somebody. It could be somebody sitting in a bed someplace. Today, Trump tweeting, unless you catch hackers in the act, it is very hard to determine who was doing the hacking. Why wasn't this brought up before the election? But it was. In October, 17 American government intelligence agencies, including the CIA, released this rare statement saying the U.S. intelligence community is confident that the Russian government directed the recent compromises of emails. When we say we're confident, uh, you know, that I think it speaks for itself. Trump still refusing to believe it. It could be Russia. It, it, I don't really think it is, but who knows? The president-elect also disputing reports the CIA believes Russia's goal was to hurt Hillary Clinton and help Trump get elected. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's just another excuse. Uh, I don't believe it. Today, a much different take from the White House on Mr. Trump. He called on Russia to hack Secretary Clinton. So he certainly had a pretty good sense of whose side this activity was coming down on. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. The new focus on Russia comes with Trump poised to name Exxon CEO Rex Tillerson Secretary of State, whose ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin go back decades. I've known him since 1999. Uh, and I have a very close relationship with him. On GMA, Trump senior advisor Kellyanne Conway tried to downplay Tillerson's Russian connection. It's not like he's pounding down vodka with Vladimir Putin the local bar. Maybe not vodka shots, but this video shows a champagne toast. Putin personally awarding Tillerson Russia's order of friendship, an honor the country gives to foreigners. Over the weekend, Republican Senator Marco Rubio tweeting, being a friend of Vladimir is not an attribute I'm hoping for from a Secretary of State. And Tom Yamas joins us now from Washington. And Tom, we've heard very little from Hillary Clinton about this election, but we did hear from her campaign team on these new headlines involving Russian hackers today. David, there is a small group of electors that is asking for more information about those hackings. And listen to what John Podesta, Clinton's campaign chairman, had to say. He writes, electors have a solemn responsibility under the Constitution, and we should support their efforts to have their questions addressed. Now, the Clinton campaign knows that there's no mechanism to brief these electors, but it is a very aggressive stance tonight, David. Tom Yamas in Washington. Tom, thank you.